Hey, what's up? I'm Dylan from Stupid Raisins, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add reverb in Final Cut Pro 10. If you need to add reverb to your vocals, your music, interviews, dialogue, or you wanna make an echo effect, you're in the right place. I'll show you how to do all of that today. In this video, I'll show you where to find the different built-in reverb effects. I'll show you three different ways that you can add reverb to your clips. I'll show you how to customize reverb and then save it as a preset you can use anytime. At the end, I'll show you this cool echo out effect you can do with reverb. You can find reverb under the effects browser, under the audio section, in the spaces category. You'll see in here you have a few different reverb settings. You have some that are already set up for specific room sizes and spaces. Then you have a few down here that are more customizable for you to set up how you want. When you get into the effects browser, instead of scrolling down and finding what you need, you can also just select this all video and audio, and then in the search bar, click and start searching for reverb. Or if you wanted to use one of those rooms, and you know the name, you could search that, like Cathedral, and they come up. There's also a couple reverbs that, that don't have the word reverb in them, but they're really good. One is called Space Designer. There we go. The other one is Platinum Verb. There's a couple really quick ways you can add your reverb to your clip. Let's drag and drop Space Designer onto my clip. And you'll see underneath the Audio Inspector, down in the Effects section, we now have this Effect Space Designer there. Let's delete it. I'll show you a faster way. Select the clip that you want to add reverb to, find the reverb you want, and simply double click on it. And you'll notice it added it up here under the Effects section for this clip. The only trick is you need to make sure you have a clip selected or your playhead over that clip. So if I activate this clip, I've got two different clips of me talking. If I want to add the reverb effect to this clip by double clicking, I need to either select it or have the playhead over it. Now if I double click, you'll see it's added it right here to this clip. If my playhead is over here and not selected on a clip, when I double click it, it does not add it to any of these clips. You can also use a keyboard shortcut to add an audio effect to your clips. By default, the channel EQ is the default audio effect for the keyboard shortcut. And you can see the keyboard shortcut here, Alt, Command, E. If I want it to be a reverb effect, all I have to do is find the one I like Space Designer, right click on it, and select Make Default Audio Effect. Now if I select my clip and press Alt-Command-E, you'll see that it was quickly added to this clip. If I want to set my default audio effect back to channel EQ, I just go to the EQ section, find the effect channel EQ, right click on it, and say Make Default Audio Effect. Now let's customize the reverb. Select the clip your effect is on, go to the audio inspector, down to the effects section, and look for your reverb effect. Right off the bat, we can add a preset. If we click on here, we see we've got different spaces, large, medium, small, and surround spaces. And these are broken down into other categories, like rooms or halls. And then each of these have a ton of options too. Off the bat, you can quickly select a reverb setting perfect for you. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. And then here it is without that reverb effect. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. You can also click on this little icon right here to open up the reverb effect plugin. At the top, you can change your presets, and then you can also cycle through them if you want. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. We don't have time to go over all of these parameters down here, but as you can see, you can customize it and get it to sound exactly how you want and make your own unique reverb. Pause game. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and click that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks. 
Let's add another effect to this channel EQ. And select a preset. And then let's make some adjustments down here. And let's make some adjustments to our reverb. And let's say I have it just how I want it. It sounds fantastic and I love that. And I want to use it again. Well, I can save this as an effect preset. At the bottom, you'll see this button called Save Effects Preset. Click it, name your effects preset. We'll call it Reverb Test. Select the categories you want it in. Let's put it in the Spaces category with the other reverb effects. Down here, you can select which effects you want to include in this preset. We'll keep our Space Designer and Channel EQ in there and press save. Now, that means these two effects are saved in the preset and any changes I made to them. Now I can add it to this other clip here, quickly and easily. I go to spaces, and right there you see it, reverb test. So I can drag and drop or double click it and add it. And you'll see right here that those two effects were added immediately with any changes I made to the parameters. Time saver. Another way to add effects from one clip to another is to copy and paste. Select the clip you want to copy the effects from and press Command C. Then go to the clip you want to paste them to and press Command Alt V. You'll notice that we had some changes in the waveform there and if we look over here at the audio inspector we see Space Designer and Channel EQ were copy and pasted from here with any changes I made. You can also use the edit menu and select paste effects. If you want to remove the effects use Alt Command X. And just like that they've been removed. I've got this clip here and I want to add some music to it and right when he kicks it I want to have it do kind of like an echo out or a reverb effect on it. So I've got the song I want down here. But it cuts off shortly, it just stops. Go to the end of the audio clip and then go over one frame using the left arrow and then press Shift H. It adds this hold section for us. Now go back to your reverb, into your spaces, and drag and drop Cathedral onto your audio. It adds the Cathedral effect to the whole clip. We don't want that, we just want it here at the end. So right before the last hit of that beat, or that song, or that note, let's put a keyframe. Go to the Audio Inspector, and on the mount, add a keyframe with this button here and set it down to one. Now go forward one frame and set your amount to 75. And at the end of the clip, you'll, if you hover over it, you'll see this little circle come up at the end. Hover over that until you get these two arrows pointing, a left and a right arrow. Click and drag that towards the rest of the song. That's fading it out. Now, go to your transitions and go to the dissolve section and grab this, drag and drop this fade to color on top of your clip. Let's take a look and let's listen to see what it's like. That's pretty good. Now that you know how to add reverb in Final Cut Pro 10, I want to show you how to add text to Final Cut Pro. I made another video called How to Add Text to Final Cut Pro. Go ahead, click here, watch it. You'll love it.